Hi, good morning. We're here at Stone Eagle, and uh, today we're going to embark on a new venture. Golf course is closed, so we don't have any golf to be played, but one activity we can do is hike. So we're all switching our hats to a, a, a new role today. We're going to be hiking guides. So joining me today, we have Mr. John Tice, Mr. Chris Aguilar, and Mr. Clayton Moe. So we're going to head up the hill. We're going to do a little hiking. Uh, a lot of members have been doing it. It's a great, great walk. Uh, we keep saying it's the best walk in the desert, although we haven't actually tested it yet. So today is our day. So we're heading up the hill, and uh, hope you enjoy the uh, hope you enjoy the trip. Here we go. We made it to our first stop here. We're in the back of the 17th tee box. Look at that view, incredible. Um, so a little fun uh, information here. We climbed 488 feet from the parking lot to the 17th tee box. Took us about 12 minutes, just at a leisurely pace because we've got a long walk ahead of us. And, uh, but uh, other than that, it's, uh, it's well worth the walk. And uh, we're gonna continue on, so here we go. mark has been hit from the parking lot to six green number 10 tee box we've gone 2.97 miles and we're feeling good okay we've hit the four mile mark from the parking lot walking each hole and hit the four mile mark between 14 green and 15 T. But we're gonna make it. All right, well, we made it. We're back down to the bottom of the hill at base camp here, just outside the golf shop. And uh, we had a great time out there today. Uh, logged a few miles and uh, Clayton's got some great uh, statistics here to go through and uh, let you know what you're in for on a, on a day at Stone Eagle. All right, thank you, Rob. Thank you for the invite. That was a great time, a great hike. Um, we started here at the, at the golf shop and we walked up to the golf course. We walked around all 19 holes using the walkway cut throughs then back down to the golf shop and according to the smartwatch here it took two hours and 34 minutes it took a, a total distance was 6.04 miles um, burned 729 active calories uh, elevation gain 1259 feet so it was a it was a great time i'll definitely be feeling it tomorrow yes, but uh, <laughs> it's a it'll be a good feeling but uh, yeah had a great time 
It's a great hike. It's a great walk. Um, again, we did it six miles. That's pretty much most of the golf course. Uh, like Clayton said, we took advantage of some of the walking trails that you can uh, cut through some of the canyon areas, which shortens the, uh, the distance a little bit. Uh, if you want to shorten the distance a little bit more, you can also park at the top of the hill as an option. Uh, we mentioned lot number 12 of Nighthawk Properties just next to the driver range is available uh, during this time. So you're welcome to park there and begin your hike from that point. Um, trails are awesome and uh, you know it, it, this is a great way to get out there and really get to know the golf course even better than you than you have in the past you see it see it from a whole different perspective out there I think Clay and I looked at a few spots where like gosh if people could see this or you play to this area and then approach a green from here um, you see it when you're walking it you don't always see it when you're shooting by in a golf cart going much faster and getting around the golf course just going from point A to point B and playing shot by shot so uh, I think in the end of this if you take advantage of this time and and, and walk the course uh, while it's available, um, it could lower your scores. So uh, get on out there and have some fun, get some exercise and get some fresh air. It's a beautiful walk. We can stand by our, our claim that it's the best walk in the desert now that we've actually experienced it. So uh, again, thank you for joining us. Stay well and we hope to see you soon.